You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, where you are. Today's a good day. Got to start out Mm -hmm. with thinking about what you're grateful for. Because if you're living the drone life, you're doing it on your own, it can get hard. It can get fun. And in order to keep a positive mindset, no matter what you're doing, you've got to maintain the gratefulness. It's so important. Anyway, welcome to another episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. And yeah, we're positive around here. Every single day, you're right. Think of something that you're thankful for. You sound that is so positive. A great way to start the day off. Are you criticizing my energy? Is that yes. what we're doing? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, up yours. Good morning. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <gasps> but it, it is a good day here at Drone U. Uh, got a lot of episodes that we are shooting for the new year. Also, in the news, a couple things. This will be a short episode because mm. the Shiza hit the fan. Trump put his big hairy nose in the drone industry's his business, big hairy nose. and um, cu- we're going to talk about that uh, shortly. But also, just want to talk about something else in addition, which is we are going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. Isn't how that- soon is very soon? Um, we're going to start on Friday. Nice. And guess what? We are giving away a Mavic. Pro Platinum, but here's the thing. Most giveaways on social media, let's face it, they suck, right? Because there's no way to really track, you know, if um, you commented or you liked something. How do they really know that you are in for the giveaway? How can they even tell if you've done these things? Well, that's what's great about our giveaways is we run a very special program where you can actually create your own sharing link. That way, every time you tell someone about the giveaway, it increases your chances threefold. It literally gives you three more entries into the giveaway. Assuming they use the link that you gave them. Correct. Yes. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Last time we did a giveaway, I believe his name was Matt. Matt was a YouTuber Mm -hmm. and got 60,000 entries. (laughs) So it was just like probability that he was like going to win and the next guy had I think it was like 37,000 entries below that so and that wasn't gaming the system that was him utilizing the system that yeah. was there for him to he use he kept sharing it over and over he yeah. really wanted a drone and guess what he got a drone yeah so check out our Facebook page on Friday our Instagram on Friday um, and also we will be announcing, we'll be pre-recording, but we'll be announcing the giveaway, where to go, what to do, and hopefully you can get your hands on a new Mavic Pro Platinum. But uh, there's some other things that are going to be in that prize pack though, not just the Phantom, I think some membership. Yeah, so you get what, what is it, three or six months access to all 27 classes here at Drone U, which includes mapping, photogrammetry, processing, pix 4D, light painting, uh, cinem- cinematography, aerial photography, editing, workflow editing, Lightroom automation, don't crash courses for multiple vehicles, part 107, uh, test prep, so much. Yeah, it's great. Flying over water. Three months free. I could keep going. And what else do they get? Um, they're getting it a book. Oh, okay. Doesn't Good. suck. Am I going to sign the book? Uh, I, ooh, I don't know if it's that good of a prize. Paul. I feel like maybe I should probably sign <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, we'll have Paul sign the book. And then also Yay. they're getting a landing pad that floats. Isn't that, isn't that cool? That's so, actually going to go to the second place winner, I believe. Yes. Landing pad and a, and a membership. Because there is going to be a second place winner, I believe. I think that's what we So we talked about it. it in the office yesterday, and we are going to announce that later down the line. But thanks for the spoiler. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> No, it's cool. There will be a second place winner, and they're actually going to get a few more, um, a few more things than that. So, uh, f- in all I in wasn't all, in that loop. It's okay. It's what happens when you're bald. You're not in all loops. It's not many loops of hair to be in. Just saying. I don't know what any of that means. But Me okay. either. All right. Well, let's move on for today. Uh, today's question, which is actually news, um, is brought to you by. Brought to you by Video Blocks. And go to videoblocks.com slash drone, where you can go and find hundreds of thousands of video clips, audio clips that you can use to augment your videos that you're preparing for your clients. Get those cool shots. 
that you weren't able to get on your own. Maybe it's just too expensive to rent a helicopter or you don't have time to rent a helicopter or you just can't go to the place that the shot comes from that you would like to include. Well, check them out, audioblocks.com slash drone and uh, most likely they'll have what you're looking for and uh, you'll get a deal on all of those by uh, going to that website. Yeah, you definitely will. Uh, anyway, in today's news, the President Donald J. Trump uh, signed the National, I'm pretty sure it's called the National Defense, where is it? National Defense Authorization Act, which included a lot of things, and added, we need our military, it's got to be perfecto. That's literally what he said. He said um, perfecto? It's right there, see, perfecto. Wow. Oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. Uh, well, what are oh, you going to yeah. do? I'm waiting for someone to go in office who's going to be like, from California, where they just like, they're like, look, guys, we've got to like do this, man. And this is like a good thing for the country. Like, this is so good. Well, be careful because it's probably coming right from Hollywood. That's going to be our next. It's probably be a great thing. We'll probably like do know. lots of things, a legalize stock. lots of things. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. So what did, what does this mean? What does this mean? John Taylor, I, I'm sorry, man. Uh, all your efforts, your time has now been officially wasted. <laughs> if you guys remember, we had drone registration in the past, which pretty much said that any drone that was 0.55 pounds or more had to be registered with big old Uncle Sam. I'm talking about the federal government. Well, that went away because of previous law and the fight that John Taylor made. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back. Drone registration is back from the dead. Thanks to the National Defense and Authorization Act that Trump signed earlier this week, we now have a drone registration and it is back. So if you own a drone that is 0.55 pounds or more, now you have to register it. So It is law now. It's not something that a lawsuit's going to get rid of. Correct. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of unfortunate. It's like... Uh, I think the reason why is because they see it as a defense issue. I don't think it's a... Um, national security? It, it is a national security right. issue. I don't think it's... I think it's, you know... It's not a control play? What are you I, trying to say? I don't know what it is, in all honesty. But I think, you know, in, in a lot of federal meetings, they've talked about their their very real concern for drone-based attacks. Yeah. So um, I think that there are very real issues in, in dealing with drones. That said, but, someone who's going to attack using a drone is not going to register it. Yes. That kind of goes back to the whole, like, gun registration and everything. In fact, which is really interesting. You, you don't have to register your firearm, but you got to register your drone. You do have to register your firearm, don't you? Um, I just bought a firearm. I mean, unless they registered it for me. I think they might have. I don't know. We need to make sure You mean, on like, that. federal? Let's see. Do we, re do we register our guns? Googling, mm. are my guns registered? There is no comprehensive national system of gun registration. In fact, federal law prohibits the use of the national. There you go. Boom. Ah. Wow. So you got to register your drone, but not your gun. That's so right. get your AK-47 out and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm boy. kidding. Don't do oh, that. Oh, boy. Yeah, please don't. Actually, uh, So actually what would happen is probably maybe a drone of someone who has registered it gets stolen, and then that gets used, and it falls on somebody else. Yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm disappointed because John Taylor did a lot of work in this. I know some people uh, have said that, you know, drone registration is a good thing. Even the FAA spokesperson, uh, un unsurprisingly, gave a thumbs up to the rule, saying we welcome the reinstatement of registration rules for all sm small unmanned aircraft. But now I'm wondering... Uh, you know, what What would be the penalty if someone doesn't register? Oh, the site's already back up. Look at that. Registermyuas.fa.gov is alive and running, ladies and gentlemen. All they needed to do was flip the switch. I guess so. Well, they already had it built. They already spent the money. And I know a lot of people did not get their, uh, what is it called? They did not get their $5 back. As in they didn't take the time to care or worry about getting it back. Or are you saying they tried and it didn't come? Um, I'm sure, pretty sure a lot of people didn't get their $5 back, but I don't know. Now they're saying, though, there are different requirements here. Look at this. Do I need to register my unmanned aircraft? You need to register your unmanned aircraft. It weighs between 0.55 and up to 55 pounds. You will be subject to civil and criminal penalties if you do not meet the, the criteria to register your unmanned aircraft and do not register. You must use the paper registration process if your unmanned aircraft is 55 pounds or greater. Uh, you want to qualify a small un unmanned aircraft for operation outside of the United States. 
you hold title to an aircraft and trust. The small American aircraft owner uses a voting trust to meet U.S. citizenship requirements. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Wow. This website has an expiration date of next month, too, by the way. Look, expiration date, 1-31-2018. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Well, there you have it. Well, I guess I better go register all those new drones we just bought. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, well, I'll get right on that. So anyway, <laughs> that is the uh, the news for the day, Rob. How does that make you feel? What do you think about all this? Well, I guess it doesn't surprise me, number one. I, you, probably this, how most people feel. Yeah, I think that's how most people feel. Um, I, you know, it's one of those things that's probably going to be split down the middle. Pe- some people are going to be okay with it. Some people are going to be really, really upset about it. What's going to happen is people are going to do it and life will go on. Life I don't, will go on. In the end, I mean, it's one of those things where there's this uproar and it's probably going to be a smaller uproar this time than when it was first introduced all those months back, but it'll, this too shall pass and everybody will go on with business as usual, life as usual. That's mm-hmm. how these things usually are. So that's what I think. You know, it's interesting though, because it's making me think about Aeroscope and you know how Aeroscope mm-hmm. reads drones. And if serial numbers are going to be tied to these registration numbers, I feel like Aeroscope could probably pull more information off of someone um, than additionally a thought, which has been a complaint mm-hmm. of the hacker community. You know who you are? Yeah. So privacy becomes non-existent. Essentially. Well, and not only that, but no offense, FAA, you guys are horrible at privacy rights. Um, I mean, like literally there could be like so many lawsuits right now against you guys. Um, if, if everyone remembers the um, UAS, uh, what was it called? It was the most recent thing the FAA did. They wanted to invite people to be a lead. Oh, man. Why is this escaping my mind right now? Um, it was the FAA's unmanned aircraft. Uh, what is it called? Here it is, IPP. The deadline for lead applications for the UAS integration pilot program. Well, the FAA had left everyone's email addresses in a nice little Excel sheet at the bottom of the webpage for everyone to download. And thanks to that, I've gotten probably at least 30 emails that are completely spam related, and I've reported every single one to uh, Google. So Yeah, I think that was one of those oopses. Everyone has an oops, but like... Be careful. It, but privacy is a very big deal. And I mean, like, I ha- I kind of have a strong stance on this because, like, we have credit scores, you know, that uh, everything, whether you're buying a new cell phone or you're getting utilities at your new house that you just moved into or yeah. you're renting one house and you want to go to another house, they check your credit. Yep. And yet every single... Every, almost every single person's credit score has been hacked in this country. Every single one. And it's like, why do we base all these decisions off of something that we cannot even ensure is accurate to this day? That's a good question. It's probably because there's no better solution that somebody's come up with. Because it has to be based until on there's something. there's like a Bitcoin credit score. Credit coin. Which is more hackable than anything at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, it's just privacy is important. And I understand the FAA might have made an oops. And I get that. But let's just be careful, guys. That's all I'm uh, that's nope, all no I oops. am advocating for here today. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, we just had somebody visit us and came to the office. You weren't here. He's from Amarillo, Texas, pilot, commercial pilot. And he was telling me about he was coming into Amarillo and he said he was about a thousand feet up. And he looked down and he saw a drone. He said, I think they were at no more than 400, but they might have been. So I wonder, Aeroscope plus registration, if they would have been able to figure out who that is quickly and, you know, deal with it. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? You bring up a point. Aeroscope in the new DJI uh, firmware update, you can see planes on your screen. Mm -hmm. But at what point would they uh, start building into planes an Aeroscope-like system, like D-Drone or something, Mm -hmm. where the planes can see the drones in the area? I would think that's soon. Yeah, it's just interesting, like, where do we go from here? Yeah, yeah. It's always developing, you know. So anyway, that is the news, though, for today. Let us know what you think. Uh, leave us a comment on our Facebook page, or uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, this video will come up uh, in eh, probably a couple days after the audio version is up, but you can leave a comment on any of our YouTube videos, and we would be happy to answer them. You can also subscribe to this podcast. Uh, you can also give us some love for the holiday season, uh, whether you're Jewish or Christian or 
Muslim or whatever religion you adhere to, mm-hmm. it is a good holiday season right now. That's right. And if you want to share the love and compassion, then just share the podcast with someone. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Might, it might help them. Yeah. Give yeah. us a review too. Yeah. We would love that too. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us today. And uh, this holiday season, we're going to give back to you and give you a Mavic Pro Platinum. So make sure to listen up for tomorrow's show to hear all about how you can sign up and increase your chances of winning that Mavic Pro Platinum. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today, guys. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.